Hello maestros and parents, it's teacher Kerry here. Sorry about that, we had a bit of a technical glitch there, but Zippy's here and I'm here and we're super excited to see all of you today. So before we start, let's sing hello to Zippy. Hello Zippy, hello Zippy, hello Zippy, it's junior time today. And Zippy, I think we must sing hello to our maestros. Hello maestros, hello maestros, hello maestros, it's junior dive today. Now Zippy and you and I have been learning all about wild animals at junior dive this last term. And we found a really cool story that we thought we'd like to share with you. So make sure you're sitting comfortably. Let's turn on our listening ears. And we're going to start our story about Henrietta the Hairy Hippo. The hippos in the Zamban River loved to swim in the shallow water. They rolled and splashed and splunged and splattered. But Henrietta didn't play with the others. Henrietta's hairy, Henrietta's hairy sang the hippo choir all day long. Henrietta was sad. I don't want to live somewhere else. Oh, I want to live somewhere else, she said, where no one laughs at me. And so she left the Zaban River to find a new home. She walked and walked until she reached the desert. It was hot there. Very hot. Henrietta wanted to swim, but there was no water in the desert, only a lot of sand. Hello there, said a friendly voice. I'm Dennis the camel. What sort of animal are you? Look how hot it looks under that sun. And there's Dennis. I'm Henrietta Hippo, said Henrietta, and I'm looking for somewhere to live. But the desert's too hot. Follow me, said Dennis. You can walk in my shadow. It's cooler there. And so Henrietta walked with Dennis until she reached the jungle. There's Henrietta walking in Dennis's shadow. That was kind of him to let her do that, wasn't it? And they're coming up to the jungle. Henrietta liked the jungle. It was full of sweet smells and pretty colours. Then suddenly she heard a noise. Catch us if you can, called two monkeys. They wanted to play. Henrietta chased the monkeys. She ran faster and faster and faster. Boing! Straight into a giant spider web. He <laughs> grinned a big spider. A nice juicy fly for my lunch. I'm not a fly, cried Henrietta. I'm a hippo. Help! Then there was a rustle in the banana trees. Oh, poor Henrietta. There she is, stuck in the spider's web. Boo! said an even bigger spider and scared the big spider away. Don't worry, said the even bigger spider to Henrietta. It's only your monkey friends, Giggles and Tickles. And they used their clever fingers to pull the spider web away. I'm Henrietta Hippo, said Henrietta, and I'm looking for somewhere to live, but the jungle's too scary. Follow up, said the monkeys. And so Henrietta walked with Giggles and Tickles until she reached the Blue Mountain. There's Giggles and Tickles pretending to be the big spider. And there's Henrietta stuck in the spider web. The blue mountain was steep and slippery. Henrietta struggled and scrambled and climbed and clambered. <sighs> Finally, she reached the top. Oh, what a view! She could see the jungle and the desert and far, far away, the hippos splashing in the Zamban River. If only 
only I could go home, she sighed. But I can't, because the other hippos will laugh at my horrible And there's Henrietta when she got to the top of the Blue Mountain. You see her friends in the distance there, in the Zambam River, and there's the jungle. What do you think's gonna happen next? Well, I think you have beautiful hair, squeaked a voice. You just need a new hairdo. Leave it to your friend, the Snip Snip Bird. Come and snip, come and snip. I'll give you a look that's really hip. Snip, snip, snip. Done. Henrietta was very pleased with her princess Hedy. Thank you, Snip Snip Bird, she said. Now I can go home. She waved goodbye and walked back to the Zamban River. <gasps> Isn't her hair beautiful? All those pink bows and plaits. Very, very smart. Henrietta, cried the other hippos. You look like a princess. Come over and tell us where you've been. And so Henrietta talked and talked as she swam across the Zambam River. She talked about the desert and about the hill and the blue mountain and still the other hippos wanted to hear more. Henrietta was very happy but when she stepped out of the water and shook her wet coat there the hippos calling to her friend and there's Henrietta swimming across the river to see them. What do you think is going to happen when she gets out the water? Let's read on. Her princess hairdo was ruined. Henrietta was worried. Would the other hippos laugh at her? Oh dear. But they didn't. They smiled at her. Come on, Henrietta, they said. Tell us more about your adventures. And so she did. And when she finished, all the hippos jumped in the Zambam River with a great big splash. And that is the story of Henrietta the Hairy Hippo. I hope you enjoyed it. It's one of Zippy's favorites. So Zippy, now tell me, do you think it was very kind, and maestros, do you think it was very kind of the other hippos to make fun of Henrietta? No, I don't think so either. Just because we all look different doesn't mean we should make fun of each other. Like Zippy's got spiky hair and today I've got curly hair. Zippy has beautiful brown eyes and I've got blue eyes. We all made different and that's what makes us so special. Can you think of any characters in the story who were really kind and helped Henrietta on her adventure? Zippy, can you think of any? Yes, the first one was Dennis, the camel. He let Henrietta walk in the shade of his shadow so she wouldn't be so hot in the desert because hippos are used to living in the water where it's nice and cool and it's important for them that their skin stays moist. Mm, who else, Zippy? Yes, that's right, the two monkeys, Giggles and Tickles. They helped Henrietta get her out of the big spider's web and chase the big spider away, didn't they? And they showed her all the way up the Blue Mountain. Mm -hmm. There's one more person who helped her. That's right, the Snip Snip Bird. The Snip Snip Bird cut her hair and gave her a beautiful princess hairdo. But I think the biggest lesson of us all to learn is that we mustn't judge people by how they look. We must love them for who they are on the inside. That's the most important thing. Let's all sing goodbye to Zippy. Bye bye, Zippy. Let's all sing goodbye to our maestros. Bye bye, maestros. Bye, everybody. Take care. See you soon. Mm -hmm.